Hi y'all, it's Crystal from Adventuring with Crystal. Today I wanted to share some thoughts I had about a book that I've read recently. The title is Wild by Cheryl Strayed. The book is a memoir about Cheryl and her journey along the Pacific Coast Trail. First of all, it sounds amazing and like something that everybody should do is just pack up their lives sell everything off and go out into the wilderness to find themselves and to figure out what is going wrong in their lives. I would love to do it. And though there's probably not a lot of people who are going to be willing to truly go into the wilderness like that to find themselves. I think there's a couple of things that really stuck with me as I was reading this book. One is that we all have something going on and we are all going to let the things that are going on outside of us really affect us in different ways. And in the book, Cheryl had had one thing after another happen. Her mom had died. She was going through a divorce. She had fallen into some drug use that was turning into something that she didn't want it to turn into. She heard about the Pacific Coast Trail and wanted to do that as a way to find herself and to let go of the things that had been happening. I think that what I understood is we need to search within. She got away from everything the stuff and the people and the job and school and all of the day to day so that she could really go deep inside. I don't know if that was her intention. I think maybe she thought the, maybe it was, I don't know, but we as a day to day practice are not truly able to go into the wild to be able to find what is already inside of us. And what she found is that, yes, the strength that she needed to be the person that she wanted to be was inside of her. But there are some things that we can do in our day to day that will put us in a figurative wild. One is to go to someplace new. Yes, I'm talking about travel, but in the day to day, going to a new part of town going to a new coffee shop, taking a new route to work. Those are all ways that we can break out of the habits and the loops that we've created that keep us from being able to truly face what's going on. When our brains are following the same loop over and over again, we become kind of numb to the things that are going on inside of us. And we don't necessarily understand that we are just kind of robots going along the same way and we're making the same mistakes and we're making the same choices and we're doing the same thing day after day. And we may feel like I'm butting my head against the wall here and I don't know why. And it could be because we're just in a habit loop that we are falling asleep to. We're sleepwalking and in a small way, finding a new restaurant, doing a new activity, learning a new hobby, we're going to shake ourselves up enough that we can then become reflective. I was on a call this morning and the coach was saying that we're either always going or we're in kind of a fugue state where we're really not reflective, but we're also not doing anything. We've just become overwhelmed. So we've retreated. And the process and the practice is for us to be in a reflective state. And you don't have to go on a three month long hike in order to do that. You can find ways to do that in your day to day, or you could do that in a trip. I found that when we went to Greece, I was a totally different person and was able to see the people that I was with also in a totally different way because I was in a really novel situation. And that's where I think that travel is so important for us to regain connection to ourselves, to regain connection to our loved ones, to regain connection to the universe, 
and that may sound woo woo to some, but there is an energy, whether you want to say that it's God or you want to say it's the universe or whatever you want to say it is, there is a higher something that is calling us to be connected to all of that energy and it lives inside of us. And if we fall asleep and we don't wake up, then we're going to miss that. And that's what this book was about to me. I want you to read it because I want to see what you think that it is about to you. But that's what it was about to me was shaking up our day to day so we can become connected to ourselves and our loved ones and the thing that is higher than us that is calling us into communion. And I feel like that is the magic of adventure and the magic of travel. And I'd love to help you find that magic. So book a discovery call with me. We can talk about wild if you've read it, and then we can talk about your travels also.